everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed and on today's food adventure, I'm going to show you how to make tawa naans. Now I am so lucky to be surrounded with many amazing cooks and my mom's best friend, my auntie Mabel Coley gave me this recipe. I was so impressed with how soft and delicious these naans were that within an hour I had made a batch of my own. They're not only really simple to make, you can get restaurant quality naans in your own home. Let's start with activating the yeast. I've got two and a quarter teaspoon of dried yeast and to this I'm going to add a pinch of sugar as well as three-fourths of a cup of warm water. Now yeast loves sugar and it actually thrives on the sugar so you're going to see it froth and bubble. I'm just going to leave this aside for 10 minutes and you'll see the difference. It's going to go from a really clear water to a bubbly cloudy one. I'm going to put the yeast aside and I'm going to work on the rest of the ingredients. I've got two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a quarter teaspoon of regular salt. I'm going to add two tablespoons of oil and I've got a half cup of yogurt that I've just beaten up. I'm going to add this all together and then I'm going to pour in the yeast mixture that I left aside. As you can see, it's really nice and frothy now. I'm going to add this to my flour and it's going to be mixed together in my stand mixer till everything comes together. Now make sure to scrape the sides of your bowl and keep going till your dough forms a nice ball. Once my dough has formed, I'm gonna take it out and I'm going to add it to a well-oiled bowl. I'm gonna cover it with some cling film and I'm going to leave it in a nice warm place for about half an hour till my dough doubles in size. Once my dough has risen considerably, I'm going to take it out onto a floured surface and I'm going to knead it just for a little bit and then I'm going to divide it into half and quarter and again another quarter till I have eight equal pieces of dough. I'm going to roll these out into oblong shapes and then you're free to add any kind of garnish that you like. I'm going to experiment with some onion flakes. I've got some black sesame seeds. I'm also going to use some kasuri methi, which is fenugreek that has been dried, as well as some chili flakes, but the possibilities are endless. I'm simply going to add these tavanans to my hot tava. I'm gonna cook it on one side, and then I'm gonna see the dough really bubble up and that's when I know it's ready for me to flip over and I'm going to brush it with some butter. Flip it over one more time, add a little bit more butter and they're ready. They don't take a long time at all. Now you can store these tavanans once they're cooled for at least a day in an airtight container. But if you want to keep them longer, you can wrap them with some kitchen towel or tissue paper and you can put it in a Ziploc bag and store it in your fridge for up to a week and you will have fresh tavanans on hand to sop up your gravies. I do hope you enjoy this recipe. I have lots of delicious recipes to share. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm also going to throw up some links for a delicious prawn masala that I just made as well as some jinga makani. Both of these would be delicious with these tavanans. Make sure you come back again. Until I see you, do take care. Bye.